What's up guys? Friday means rap release day or albums in general, but you know, I focus mainly on the rap stuff. So today Logic dropped off his new project, Bobby Tarantino 3. I'm not sure, the reason I hesitated there is because I'm not sure if it's an album or a mixtape. I was looking on Wikipedia a minute ago and I know the first two were definitely mixtapes or retail mixtapes, whatever you want to call it. There's so many different things you can call stuff nowadays. But this one was listed under albums, so I don't know what he's really considering it. I, I think it's probably going to be considered a mixtape. Here, here's what the labels do a lot of times. What they'll do is they'll release something and kind of leave it ambiguous. And then depending on how the sales come back, then they'll come out and say whether they consider it an album or a mixtape. Like, Young Thug did that with Barter 6. When that released, they said they kind of hinted that it was an album. And then after the sales came back, he only did 17K in the first week. They kind of backtrack. They're like, oh, that was just a retail mixtape. So, you know, it's all about keeping the artist's reputation up as a high seller and um, a popular artist. So anyway, the, the purpose of this video today is I want to do a sales prediction, a sales projection on this album slash mixtape, retail mixtape, whatever you want to call it, that Logic put out. And um, yeah, uh, but first I do want to talk a little bit about him, what I think about him as an artist, as a rapper. Um, listen, when, when Under Pressure came out in, what was that, 2015? It was like, yeah, it was 2015, I think. When that came out, I thought he was pretty good. And I know he was out longer than that. I know he had uh, plenty of mixes before that came out, but I never really checked him out. That The first project I checked out by Logic was No Pressure. And I thought it was fine for what it was. I was like, this is kind of, this is kind of okay. You know what I mean? I didn't love it. I didn't become a Logic stan or, you know, one of those nerds on the internet that's going to defend him no matter what kind of bullshit he puts out. No, far from that. I thought it was decent. And then his second album came out. Uh, what was the name of that one? Can't even remember. Um, what, the one where he was in like a space suit on the front. That's all I remember. The Incredible True Story. <laughs> the Incredible True Story. Well, first of all, I thought the album was the opposite of incredible. Um, I, I despised it. I didn't like it at all. Um, and and I was so disappointed by it that I was like, man, I, I, what happened to Under Pressure Logic here? And then it just kind of dwindled from there. To be honest with you guys, you know me, I always keep it 100. I always keep it real. I, I preferred Supermarket over any album that he's put out. The Supermarket soundtrack to his book. I preferred that over any album he's put out besides Under Pressure. Because it was something different. It was refreshing. And I think that style of music, whatever you want to call it, folk, pop, pop folk, pop rock, whatever you want to call it, I think that style suited Logic better than a lot of his rapping does. I just don't think he's that great of a rapper a lot of times. Um, or his beat picking, I don't know. But I'm not an, I'm not an expert in, in folk rap or folk rock or pop folk or whatever you want to call what supermarket was. What do what, what they got that listed as on here? Alternative rock. So I'm not I'm not a expert on alternative rock. I don't I do like alternative rock, some of it, a very little bit of it. But I, I you know, I know a lot of rap. I know a lot about rap. So I can see here and give an opinion about rap. I don't know as much about alternative rock as I do rap. So to me, to an outsider looking in, I thought the supermarket uh, soundtrack was better than his fucking rapping half the time. I actually kind of enjoyed the supermarket soundtrack, you know? So, he, you know, I kind of like with MGK, I, I prefer um, his pop punk album over his rap. I just think that suits him better. So I, I, I respect uh, musicians when they can step out and do better. So. I haven't heard uh, Bobby Tarantino 3, but I will say this, outside of his debut album, No Pressure, I, the Bobby Tarantino mixtapes were my favorite. They were my favorite. So I'm sure the third one is gonna be smooth. I, I am gonna listen to it. Haven't heard any of it yet. So this is not an, a review on it or anything like, like that. So um, what's he gonna sell in the first week? Well, here's the thing, man. Why did Logic have to fucking lie about being retired? We all saw that saw that as a farce to sell more copies of his last album. And that was less than a year ago. Or, you know, no more than a, a little over a year ago. It was it was 2020 when that thing came out. Usually when a, a rapper lies and says they're retiring, at least they wait three, four, five years to come come back with a, a you know, a, a comeback album. Logic was a year, the next year. 
that's a regular album cycle. So why are you lying to your fans? I'm not a fan. So, you know, but it, you're lying to your fans, Logic. Why are you lying to your fans? So by lying to his fans, I think that's going to hinder his sales here. I think it's only going to do about 40K, 50 at the very most. I would say 35 to 40, maybe, and 50 is the, the, the peak of the mountain. 50 is the fucking Mount Everest reaching the top. But I think 35 to 40 is what he's going to do because your fans are going to, uh, you know, they're going to be pissed off. You said you, you lied to them. You said you're retiring and a year later you're dropping a new album or a new mixtape. What are you going to call it? And he even waited a year. He had that other project he did uh, six, seven months ago. So he's full of shit, man. Logic is just, he's a weird guy. He constantly says that he's black or mixed or whatever. I want to, I want to see the DNA, t the DNA test. Can we get a, a DNA test, Logic? Because I saw that little interview he did with his black dad. And I'm sorry, either your mom's genes are like beyond comprehension or they have been fooling you because you are whiter than the fucking the clouds in the sky right now you know so um he's a weird guy and then he he cheated on his wife or whatever that was really pretty and then he got with another girl i don't know you know props to him for it because i think her name was jessica she was hot you know what i mean like every time i saw an article about her on hot new hip-hop i would always be sure to read it because i just thought she was really cute um, but whatever And Logic said duck And she actually seemed like a decent girl Unlike most of these like rap girlfriend Fucking thoughts Like fucking Saweetie and shit So I gave him props on that I, I gave him props on that But then I don't know what happened there So anyway 35 That's my prediction guys Please subscribe if you haven't Give me a like Let me know in the comments What you think he's gonna sell in the first week With Bobby Tarantino 3 And I will uh, talk to you guys later